Hey, Linux friends, let's have some fun today and learn about how we fix when your server is out of space. And I'm called to different companies here in Iceland to fix different issues. And sometimes it's a space issue. And for whatever reason, sometimes servers are installed using the default partitioning layout and everything's under slash, everything's on the root. And so how do we fix that? How do we make that work? And this is based on my experience alone. Yours might differ, but this is how I would fix this. And so it doesn't matter what the company is or what distro that they're running, Ubuntu, Debian, RHEL, CentOS, Rocky, Alma, blah, 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 blah. it doesn't matter. They're all running Logical Volume Manager. And uh, so the fix is based on that. And so let's look at how I would do that. I'll show you what I do is when I'm studying for something. Currently, I'm studying for the RHCE. I create a base image of whatever the distro is that I'm studying and it has all the packages. It has the terminal bell turned off, all the stuff that I want. And so it's ready to go. Don't I always have to be installing the distro. So let's just space issue. Let's clone it. Turn that bad boy up. Open, open. Let's take a look at our friend Nick and see the IP address that we get. Let's refresh. Uh, 122.192. SSH root at 192.168.122. What was it? What was it? 192. Come on, man. Yes. Uh, password is super password. Um, so let's start by, oh, let's look at the disks that we currently have. So this might be the default. This is the default setup for many servers. You have VDA and then you have partitions and then you have the root partition, 17 gigs, everything is underneath there. So let's start by installing a new disk. Let's make it 10. Finish. Let's use LS block again to see if we have the new disk. And there it is, a VDB, 10 gigs. Let's look at our physical volumes in the logical volume manager. And let's add PV create uh, dev VDB. Uh, it has been added. And so there it is, 10 gigs free. And so let's look at the volume groups that we have, rel. I wanna use the same, uh, you, of course you can do a new volume group, but I'm just gonna use the same one. So let's do VG extend rel, and it was the VDB. And so now the rel volume group has 10 gigs free. Sweet. Let's uh, look at logical volume groups that we have. And we're going to create a new one. So you can see that we have the swap there and the root. Both are underneath rel. We are like that. So let's do LV create. And the name is going to be var. And let's use, so if you use a small L, you can use a percentage. Let's use a capital one and let's give it eight gigs. Uh, then you have to define the size instead of using a percentage. And uh, it, it's going to go underneath the rel. So LVS. And there we have it. We have our new logical volume group that's 8 gigs and it's underneath the volume group rel. Sweet sauce. Next step is to put a file system on var. And so let's do MKFS, XFS, and dev. And then it's the name of the volume group. And then the logical volume group that we want to put a file system on. And now we have that file system. We're gonna rsync everything from var to a new directory. Let's create the new directory. Let's rsync, archive mode, verbose, and let's preserve hard links, extend, oh, access control list, and then extended attributes. Uh, let's do var, everything underneath var to var new, and everything underneath there. And it's copy, it's done, it, it is done. So uh, let's do diff, recursive, var, and to var new. Oh yeah, that is okay. That is just the block special file. So it probably has something new. We can check that out. Uh, access time or I know or something. Uh, we can do stat and let's just copy this. just to make sure that what's going on and let's do stat. And then also the new, the new, our new. 
believe in a thing of love. Ma, 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 ma. So, uh, birth. Oh, yeah, you can see that's different. So, the, it, it's not, I know, 117. Yeah, so it's a block file. So, it's okay. Next, we need to mount the logical volume group that we just created. And you can see it right here, rel var. And here's the UUID. I always mount everything that I create via the UUID. You're going to thank me in the future. It is safer. It is better. It is supreme. So let's do copy ETC FS tab, ETC FS tab back. You're going to also thank me for this later if you make a mistake in the next step. Sometimes I've had the pleasure of only being like, there's no mouse. There's no, there's just a console. And so you can't, can't copy paste like this. You can't do it. You can't do it, people. So learn more ways. Learn my ways. <laughs> Wow, that was Austrian of me. Sorry about that glitch in the matrix. Um, <laughs> learn more ways to accomplish stuff. So the easiest way is to do block ID, grep, and then let's use the last four, one of the UUID. So you get the whole line. And so you can do that. You can send it to ETC. See, if I would have done that, I would have overwritten ETCFS tab with only that. And that is not what we want to do. That is the reason for the FS tab dot back. So append, we want to append ETCFS tab. So I do not like this way. I would, uh, of course you can do it. You can just fix it in Vim later, but let's learn more. We're here to learn, learn together, grow, mature. Uh, awk, let's do a regular expression via awk. That is cool. We are cool. Uh, let's do rel var and close the regular expression. We have to put it in quotes. Let's do print and let's do field number two. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> that is nicer. Isn't it? Isn't it nicer? I think so. Let's throw that into ETC FS tab. Let's do Vim ETC FS tab. Let's do capital G to get to uh, the last line. Let's do two words. Let's throw that one out. Let's go to the end using a dollar. Let's press X to clear that. Let's do A for append. Tab var default. No, oh. <laughs> I was see. I was watching the wrong line. Default. I have to pay attention. You have to like keep me on track. Let me know. Comment section. Let me know. I, maybe if I would start doing uh, live streams, you would be like, "Oh no, no, you're doing it wrong." Saved. Ship am. I forgot one thing. Let's comment this out because I do not want to load the var new var right away. Let's uh, reboot the server and let's jump over here. Be quick, quick, be quick. Press E to edit grub. And now we go to the end of the line. End of the line, remove RHDB quiet. Let's do systemd.unit equals emergency.target. I'm going into emergency target because it doesn't load hardly any services at all. And it also mounts the file system in a read only mode. So uh, squeeze me. It's really good. Control X to boot. It's really good when you have to move directories around like var. So password and let's now look at what we have to work with here. So let's move var to var old. Oh, of course, I told you it's a read only file system. So let's do mount option remount read write root uh now we move var to var old and we move var new to var and so this is how it looks like that is all good fine and dandy i also recommend that we do touch auto relabel if you're running se linux this is going to relabel all the files for us because we might run into SE Linux issues if we don't do that. And now let's reboot. Let's watch it. Relabel stuff. 
if you're on a really large system, see, it's relabeling. Uh, if you're on a really large system, that might take a while, but it shouldn't be too bad uh, unless var is like terabytes of data. Um, so we are up. Let's see if we are up and running. <laughs> I forgot to uncomment, uncomment var from FSTab. You see, if you were here to remind me of stuff, we wouldn't have this issue. ETC FSTab. Uh, let's reboot again. Okay. Okay. Let's see what happens. If we are dancing in the street. See if we get any warnings here. If we would, uh, if we would have any like SE Linux issues, uh, that should have given us a hint right there. Should have gotten a warning about something. First thing that I do after something like this, system CTL failed. Let's see if anything's failed. Nothing has failed, so we're not having issues with SE Linux because of the touch out of relabel, which is good, which is handy. Uh, mm, 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 SE status just for funds. It is enabled. It is enforcing. We're not having issues with that. Now to the magical moment of truth. We have rel var and it is mounted right here. So we have successfully done that. Mission accomplished. Let's. Good job. Good job. Um, so <clears throat> let's make myself big here. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you learned a command or two or a new way to think about things and how to administrate your system. Um, yeah, so one final thing. I don't know if you know this one, LS. Let's do list human readable by size var. And here you have the biggest file on top and the smallest one on the bottom. Let's reverse that, R. And so here we have the smaller, no, the biggest one on uh, the bottom, which I like. Uh, so many jokes there. Uh, anyways, um, so I hope you learned at least that command was maybe would maybe that was new. I don't know. Click, click, and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you all. And um, until next time, peace out.